Saka Fets YouTube and welcome back to my channel. Let's make some yummy spicy rice. darlings it's so nice to be back here in my kitchen yesterday i gave a sneak peek of my gorgeous spicy rice that i paired with my peri peri chicken in the air fryer and you guys wanted a recipe in my food processor i just went in with some garlic some onions some red and green bell pepper some thyme some coriander i'm gonna go ahead and add in some seasonings like paprika chili powder salt black pepper and you want to also add a little drop of oil and a fresh squeeze of lemon juice give this a quick mix and this is going to act as the base for our spicy rice Once our marinade was nicely blended up, it should look something like this. Texture should not be too smooth but not too coarse. And I'm just gonna go ahead and just add some oil to a small pan and go in with the marinade. Now this was leftover marinade from my peri peri chicken, hence the reason why it doesn't have that much. But yes, you guys wanted a recipe so I thought why not. I'm gonna go ahead and just leave this in the oil to fry for about 5 minutes and then you just want to cover it up okay once it's all cooked then you're gonna go ahead and add in your rice and all the other ingredients for this yummy dish That my rice has been added I actually used some jasmine rice and I'm just gonna go ahead and mix it into that nice marinade you can always just taste and adjust to your own preference but because I added some salt to this already I actually just ended up adding a little bit of all-purpose seasoning only and it came out delicious you can always just choose to add stock instead of water however be very mindful of the sodium when making this dish okay now that everything is nicely incorporated in the sauce i'm gonna go in with some water about two to three cups of water okay but i'm adding it gradually so i'm adding some mixing it in and then adding the remainder Once everything was nicely mixed in, I did taste and adjust by adding a little bit of all-purpose seasoning. Then I covered it up to let it steam for about 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, I gave it a quick fluff up and covered it back for about 5 more minutes after adding some coriander leaves on the top.
well now that it's all done oh my goodness guys this came out so fluffy so delicious the color is so gorgeous now as for the spiciness i'd probably give this at least a three or four over ten it wasn't too spicy at all but you can always just adjust the spice level to your own preference i'm gonna go ahead and plate it up because oh my goodness it looks so amazing now to any africans that follow me does this not look like jollof rice it actually has that nice rich color of jollof rice but i promise it's not now that it's all plated up i'm gonna go ahead and serve it up with this gorgeous air fryer peri peri chicken that i made yesterday you can always just check my channel out by looking for terry peri peri chicken and the recipe will come up i just shared it yesterday and guys this was just such a quick and easy meal my family had dinner within an hour it was literally so good i did garnish with some fresh coriander leaves on the top and some lemon slices and wow probably just needed some fresh beans on the side and yeah we're good to go so i really hope you enjoy the recipe try it soon let me know if you like it it's been a pleasure having you here and i'll see you again in my next one thank you for watching bye bye